Hi friends, in this video, we are gonna see how we can interface a 7 segment display with Arduino. We'll see how we can connect a 7 segment display with Arduino and how to write a code to display different digits. We'll also make an up down counter with it. So without further ado, let's start this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel then do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get notifications whenever i upload a new video these are my other channels do subscribe them as well and you can also follow me on facebook and instagram component list circuit diagram everything is in the description below We know 7 segment displays consist of 7 LEDs. By turning on these LEDs in different combination, it displays different digits. Each LED in 7 segment display is called a segment. The name of these segments are A, B, C, D, E, F and G. By turning on segment A, B, C, D, E and F, it displays digit 0. And by turning on segment B and C, it displays digit 1. Now let's connect 7 segment to Arduino. So this is the 7 segment I'm gonna use. This is a common anode 7 segment display. In common anode 7 segment display, anode of all LEDs is connected together. This is the common anode for all LEDs. And the cathodes will be connected to the controller to display digits. Now let's connect 7 segment display to Arduino. First connect Arduino. After that connect the 7 segment display. Now connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to common terminal of the 7 segment and its other pin to 5 volt pin of Arduino. Now connect pin A of 7 segment display to pin D2 of Arduino. Now connect pin B of 7 segment display to pin D3 of Arduino. Now connect pin C of 7 segment display to pin D4 of Arduino. Now connect pin D of 7 segment display to pin D5 of Arduino. Now connect pin E of 7 segment display to pin D6 of Arduino. Now connect pin F of 7 segment display to pin D7 of Arduino. Now connect pin G of 7 segment display to pin D8 of Arduino. So we have connected the 7 segment display to Arduino. Now let's write a code for that. We have connected the 7 segment display to Arduino's pin D2 to D8. So we need to make these pins output. So we'll write pin mode command for all these pins and make them output like this. Now to display the digit 0, we need to turn on segments from A to F. For that, we'll turn the pins D2 to D7 low and pin D8 high. Now let's upload the code to Arduino and see how it works. So as we can see, the 7 segment is displaying digit 0. Now for the other digits, we'll turn on and off the pins according to the digit and we'll write delays like this. Now let's upload the code to Arduino and see how it works. Now as you can see, the 7 segment digit is displaying digit from 0 to 9. Now let's make the code a little better and more understandable. For that, we'll use switch case commands. This is the syntax for switch case command. When the value of variable x is 0, commands in case 0 will be executed. And if the value of x is 1, commands in case 1 will be executed. We can make as many cases as we want. So in this code, I have made 10 cases from 0 to 9. When the value of variable num is 0, the 7 segment will display digit 0. And when the value of variable num is 5, 7 segment will display digit 5. In this code, the value of variable num is increasing by 1 with a 1 second delay. Now let's upload this code to Arduino.
So as you can see, the 7 segment display is displaying the digit from 0 to 9. Now let's make an up down counter, connect a push button and connect its one pin to pin D9 of Arduino and its other pin to ground. Connect another push button and connect its one pin to pin D10 of Arduino and its other pin to ground. So we have completed the connections of push buttons. Now let's write the code. These commands are to make pin D9 and 10 input with internal pull up resistors. So these command will sense which button is pressed and increment or decrement the value of variable num. Now let's upload this code to Arduino and test the project. So that's it for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed this video. For more videos like that, stay tuned and I will see you in the next video.